How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Well, today is the day uh, to really get this uh, cement mixer frame clean and maybe a few of the other parts uh, really clean today. Uh, I've got all the yellow paint off. We're down here to rust, silver paint, orange paint, and uh, Oh, a little bit of yellow on the back back there, but we're, we're looking to get it all clean. So I picked up one of those uh, wet sandblasting deals right there. Basically, this is what you're buying. It comes with a I don't know, 20, 25 foot hose here, suction hose for the sand, and uh, it comes ready to go uh, as far as attaching right to your pressure washer wand and uh, has a nozzle in, inside. And then this is your blast nozzle here, the Venturi part basically of it uh, here. And it has a, I think it's a ceramic piece inside here. This comes off uh, down in here. Now, what size nozzle, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to take this out and measure it. It's not marked. Uh, it comes in various sizes, though, according to the paperwork. It's small. It's probably the smallest one they have. Anyway, it doesn't come with a lot of paperwork. There you go. That, that's about it. I got this from Ultimate Washer down in Florida. And I'll put a link in the description. I bought on Amazon. About 100 bucks. So this is the pressure washer one. It has a... I guess most pressure washers have this type of a quick disconnect for the nozzle tips. And uh, it just a uh, quick disconnect basically right in there. Take your tip out and put it in. That's about it. This is the one that's with the pressure washer. And I'm using a DeWalt 3400 PSI pressure washer. That's what a gas engine driven. And uh, we're going to blast the hell out of this thing. Been using Evaporust. And this is the drive gear. Now, I'll show you a picture of uh, what it looked like before. Look at that. Nice gear. They've keyed it on and they've center punched and staked that on. Right out of there. Just awesome. Just beautiful. Almost like brand new. We'll uh, take it back and wash it and uh, do a little wire brushing with it. But man, oh, that's awesome. Some bad pitting right there. But, or those are, might not have been bad pitting so much as in flaws in the casting and just when they machined the teeth that they didn't machine out. Just awesome. This was a really, really had really bad rust in here. Oh, uh, this sat since yesterday afternoon and overnight and oh wow that's really cleaned up good that was really bad in here just cleaned it up I already I did paint stripper on it to get most of the paint off and oh here this paint's gonna come off now good that silver paint's kind of a bear to get off oh yeah I think the uh, oh the evaporus is removing it what a deal yeah, the silver stuff. That's that aluminum kind of paint, and it's old, and I tell you, that stuff is good stuff. And it sticks like crazy. But the evaporus eats it up. Looks like we'll go clean these both up. There we go, all washed up. Don't those look beautiful? Oh, I'm getting a little bit of flash rust on there. I cleaned them up, dried them off, but still flash rust, and that's what that little yellow, bit of yellow is on there tinge uh, came out just awesome those are just just absolutely awesome same with this one a little paint i'll get off but in here it was so bad of rust it's all gone just all gone just awesome job i'm gonna have to use the evaporust more often i i think i might clean up some of these castings they didn't do a very good job and on uh cleaning up the part lines and stuff I'll probably do a little bit of cleanup on them, but these are coming out beautiful. This is the uh, 
This is the pinion drive for turning the drum. That's what this one is. This, this is the drive that goes through here. This is for uh, rotation of the drum to empty the drum. And that will be, that goes in through here. This one I wire wheeled after I evapo rust it and then I wire wheeled it. So it's got a little bit of shine to it. But it came out just awesome. Absolutely awesome. These are the pulleys. They've been in there about 18 hours. And they were complete rust. Look at that. Awesome. I'm going to take them out and uh, scrub them up. You can see the oxidation has turned to well, more of a magnetite almost. It, and it's just come right off. See this one? Oh, wow. What a difference. Time to go clean them up. They're being cleaned. Uh, I got them a little bit. Pr I got them primed, just to keep flash rust off and things like that. Uh, they're they're ready to go uh, to be used, uh, other than a finished coat of paint. I use an old antique clothes rack, clothes drying rack here, as a holder on my door. If you ever find a few of these, these are these things are fantastic. These really old ones. Anyway, those are drying and uh, moving on to more parts. This is the uh, suck pickup tube right here. And that's about it. It has a, like a vent so it can draw air in as it draws here and it picks up the sand. Uh, that pretty simple. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna stick that down in a bucket of sand I got going here. This is working excellent. I can't keep the camera much closer than this. This is uh, uh, pretty close as it is. Uh, there's a lot of sand and there's, uh, there's water, of course, uh, back coming back. But yeah, that's down to what, that's down to clean metal. So, uh, a little bit of rust in there. A little bit of rust in there, but it's down to clean metal. Take some paint off, lickety split. A little bit more work to get that rust off, but this is working absolutely excellent. Well, so far that that works awesome, just awesome. Now, don't get any water or moisture in the suction hose for the sand. It, it can plug up. Uh, I actually cut about five feet off the hose, made a little shorter. I had to blow it out a couple times. I got water down it, but I used compressed air to blow it out, good and dry. Uh, you know, pretty dry. And uh, if you, especially if you're using fine sand, this is number 30 sand, and I like the little coarser sand. Uh, the this has a more of an affinity to plug up with moisture. But anyway, the unit works fantastic. Uh, it's already flashing uh, over with the flash rust, but that's where the frame and the doghouse oh. here are all blasted. But even the bottom and even the inside of the doghouse. Uh, I still got a little bit more to do on these wheels. Uh, I'm going to be taking the wheels off and, you know, surfacing and checking the bearings and all that stuff anyway. Things are, things are coming along really good with this stuff.
Well, the big cleanup is about done. Uh, this is got a little bit of flash rust on it, but I have welding to do on this as far as repairs go. And I'm gonna try to beat out uh, some of these. This top part here is riveted in. And uh, boy, I, I, I thought about removing this and then trying to straighten it out. I think I'd end up with more of a mess. Uh, I was able to pound out some of these uh, big dents and I think I can get a lot of them out uh, pretty well. Just a lot of, a lot of hammer work. The yoke here, all clean blasted. I ground the parting lines so they're uh, cleaned up a lot. They, they didn't do a lot of casting cleanup on these things. I have uh, the journals are just kind of taped and then painted. Everything's cleaned up. I painted this so it doesn't rust anymore as I get to it. I'm going to see if I can get the big bull gear off and maybe set this up in the mill to turn those journals. Um, working on getting that kind of together. Uh, these are just uh, two of the motor mount bars off the back. Uh, just a little wire brush on those and I'm going to get those painted so they don't rust anymore. At least get primer on them I should say. I'm trying to get things primed before winter comes. This is the tongue. It's all cleaned up. Uh, a couple of things to do on it though. I'm going to grind those uh, broken chain links that were welded on. Grind those off and right here there's some wear from where the, it sat in the frame and over the time it wore around the top half of this here and I'm going to weld that depression up and grind that back smooth. So we'll get those apart today. This is the last cleanup stuff is really I have to do is, is this. Get this cotter pin out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Not very tight. All right. That's good. It had a nice little. Had just a little bit of play in there. That's good. Just a little. Come apart nicely. That's the easiest thing that came apart in the whole 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 thing here. So I know that hasn't been greased in at least 40 years. That's how long I've had the thing. Oh, that looks really good. Just a little file cleanup on the end there. That would get the little burrs off from the count, the cotter pin hole and the end there. And a little scoring from probably old bearing seizures. Uh, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. 